Good morning, boys and girls. Let us start our day. Good morning, Liam. Good morning, Finn. Good morning, Emmy. Good morning, Madison. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Phoenix. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Maeve. Good morning, Ellie. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Scarlett. Good morning, Amelia. Good morning, William. Good morning, Gabby. Good morning, Philomena. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Xavier. Good morning, boys and girls. I am so happy to see you on this beautiful sun sunny but chilly day, right? That's all right. The sunshine is going to warm up everything up and it's going to be a lovely day. Okay, so let us start our day and say good morning to God. Praying hands in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And remember, our new prayer that we're learning is, Hold my hand, God. Lead the way. Help me be good every day. Let me know what's wrong and right. Keep me safe day and night. Let me know what you have planned. Lead the way, God, and hold my hand. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, now let's say good morning to America. Here's my flag is. There we go. Hands on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Excellent. Okay, boys and girls, yesterday was a Tuesday. That means today's a Wednesday, and tomorrow's going to be a Thursday. So let's sing the Days of the Week song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in one week. Very good. And we are in the month of April. For just today and tomorrow and we are at the number 29 that's a big number but guess what we're gonna count all the way to 29 okay let me get my Mickey Mouse helper hands all right ready here we go one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, and 29. Very nice. Okay, so now, boys and girls, remember, at home or at school, we have our three same rules, okay? 
our green rule. We are good listeners. So listen to mommy and daddies at home, okay? Help them out. We are nice to each other. Please get along with all your brothers and sisters because you guys can be great helpers for each other. Play nice. Share. Be kind. Because those are the words that Jesus has taught us to be sh to be helpful and to be kind. And we play safe. Remember, one toy at a time. If you are playing with your trains and then you want to play with blocks, pick up the trains first and then go to blocks. And if you're doing any arts and crafts, which you will be doing today, please make sure you put all your scissors, your glue, your markers and crayons and pieces of paper that you cut that are all over the floor like mine right now and make sure you clean up after yourselves, okay? Be a helping hand at home, all right? Because I know you guys are great helpers. I've seen it and I'm so proud of you. Okay, let us sing our alphabet letters. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z is missing. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? The letter C is disappearing. It's gone. I don't know where it is. It's hiding. I hope I'll find it later. Oh my goodness. All right, so now. This week, we've been learning all about dandelions and butterflies. And today, we're going to do our story on ladybugs. Now, these great stories have taught us a lot about spring and nature and things that are going on. Because we learned all about how a butterfly becomes a butterfly, right? It starts out as what? Caterpillar, that's right, right? So we've learned all about butterflies. And I know Anthony was, he showed me, he was out yesterday in the yard and he was playing with the dandelions. He was picking some dandelions. Good job, buddy. And cause I went out this morning to pick a dandelion, and guess what? The sun wasn't up yet, and the dandelion was all closed up. <gasps> but now the sun shines bright, and guess what? It will be open because the dandelions love the sunshine. And if you go out early in the morning, they'll be closed. Go out in the morning, they'll be opening but they're gonna be facing the same direction as that dandelion. But then as the day goes on and the sun starts to go down, the dandelions will try to follow the sunlight and it will point in the direction of the sunlight. And then when the sun goes down, guess what? They go back to sleep again. It's very interesting. Okay, so that was the dandelion. And today I'm gonna to read a ladybug story and then after that, I'm going to show you some crafts that I'm um, going to be working on today in a video with you guys, okay? So we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to make some really pretty spring pictures to hang up in your house, okay? All right, so this is called Ladybugs, Red, Fiery, and Bright. Let's see. Let's <coughs> see. Okay, little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through the gardens and trees 
on the flowers in packs. They are ladybugs. I love ladybugs. I have a really funny ladybug story that I might share with you after this story. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm, but these little insects will cause you no harm. And that is why they are my favorites. They are busy searching for food to eat. Tiny green insects taste very sweet. A ladybug may flee in fear from a hungry bird landing near. But eating a ladybug is a waste to birds. They have a terrible taste. That's good so they won't get eaten. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. In five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now within sight. So there's all her little babies ready to be born. She's gonna be a mama. Ooh, they're not very pretty when they're born. Tiny creatures. Climb out from the creamy white eggs. They have hairy gray bodies and long silky legs. They are called larvae. Ooh, they're creepy looking. I don't like them when they're babies. Yuck. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can eat 100 bugs a day. Wow, they're hungry little guys. I have to turn the page. Gross. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. The skin cannot stretch, and since it's so tight, it must shed its old skin in order to grow. This is called molting. Its skin splits apart, and the lava wiggles free. Now the larger skin can fit more comfortably. I feel like they're crawling everywhere. <laughs> oh, finally, it's getting better. In five days, the shell starts to crack. A beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. Finally, it's getting to be pretty. Soon black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns red, fiery and bright. The new ladybug spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours passes and it's able to fly. <gasps> There's the ladybug that I know. Its spotted wing covers Move off to the side. It beats its wings and away it glides. The new ladybug with red coats and black spots crawl through the gardens and trees and the flowers in pots. Okay, so who wants to hear Miss Julian's ladybug story? Okay, I do, I do. Okay, great. I'm so glad you asked. So way back when Miss Julian was in college, we got to live on college. It's called living in the dorms, right? You live on college. It's really neat. Well, there was this window and outside the window was this really pretty tree and it was a lovely spring day. And I decided to open the window. I forgot that I didn't have a screen in the window. And because the tree was right against the window, I must shook it a little when I opened it. 
And guess what the tree was covering? Ladybugs. There was hundreds and hundreds of ladybugs. And when I opened the window, guess what they did? They all flew into the room. They were on the bed. They were on the desk. They were on the lamp. They were on the closet doors, the shelves. They were everywhere. It was really fascinating. And I had to be very carefully to try to get them back outside. It was hilarious. Ladybugs everywhere. So that's my ladybug story. Okay. So now I am going to be making a video today of some, we're going to make some crafts over the stories we read. Okay. So here is our friend, the little caterpillar. Huh. I wonder what story I'm going to read tomorrow. The hungry caterpillar. That's right. Yes, that's tomorrow's story. Okay. And I made a dandelion. Ooh. I use construction paper. And guess what? I actually glued a real dandelion in the middle just for extra confidence. How pretty. So we're going to learn how to make this. And I made a butterfly. And you're probably saying, oh my goodness, Miss Julian, that's fancy. I can't make that. Guess what? You guys can make this because it's super easy and because I'm your teacher and my students, you guys are so smart. I know you guys can make this butterfly and it's made on computer paper and I did it with magic markers. So when you put it up against the window, it's almost going to make it brighten up. It's going to glow. <gasps> Ooh, it's very fancy. Okay. And we cannot forget our ladybug. Look at that, how cool. And guess what? How old is my ladybug? <gasps> you have to count its spots. What do you say? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my ladybug is five years old. Okay, and I made a pretty pink flower. So we're gonna be doing all of these crafts today and I will be seeing you later on for our math lesson. We're gonna be counting flowers. We're gonna be playing what number is missing. We're gonna know, we're gonna go over which number is bigger, bigger and which one's smaller. And we're gonna do our number order, bugs, friends, number order. So we're gonna do some cutting gluing and coloring. It's going to be a busy, fun spring day, my friends. Okay, so have a great morning and I will see you a little later this afternoon. I love you and have a great morning.